So I've loaded up my model inside Twinmotion with the materials already applied. Now how can we light up such an interior scene? I like to light it up with some area lights, some more area lights, some decals and some reflection probes. Now let's place those again together. So let's start by adding an area light on top of the ceiling. Let me set the dimensions and this will be four and a half. So try to get it as right as you can. So something like this and put it on top of your ceiling. So now let's give this 100,000 intensity. Let's change this color to 8,000 Kelvin. Okay, so now we have our first area light placed. Let's copy this and place this one a bit lower. I do this mainly because there's a difference in height of the ceiling. So now we get a more brightened look down here and the ceiling is a bit darker. Now we also need an area light to create some light on our ceiling. Let's change this. Let's flip this upside down and we add this, this one, to brighten up our ceiling a bit more. Okay, so now when we've placed this one, let's start by adding some area lights to the windows. Normally you can, you can add some sunlight that's coming through the windows, but the curtain is blocking all the sunlight inside Twin Motion. So now let's add some area lights on top of the window. Um, something like this. Let's flip this 90 degrees. Let's up the intensity 500,000. Let's set the shadows to on to create some shadows in our scene. And let's set the temperature to 9000 Kelvin to get a more white light effect. Now let's place this as close as we can in our windows. So something like this. So, okay, something like this. And now we can see there's some light on our floor. Now let's add some light to the curtains because it's not realistic that only the interior is bright and the curtain is dark. So let's flip this again, like so, and then give it a little spin. So something like this. Let's turn it down a bit. So something like this. Let's copy this one again and turn it around a bit more. So something like this. Now we have a bright looking window that casts some light in our scene. Let's copy these last three lights and make an instance out of them and just move over the light to the next window. So now we have a brighter looking scene already. We made an instance out of this, so when we change this value, it will change for both of the windows at the same time. That's why you see the colors on the right side. So let's change it back to 9000. So something like this. So once we've placed those area lights, let's see what we can do next. You can see this dark spot over here and this is not so realistic. So let's try to cover this up with another area light. We add a new area light again. We set the dimensions. Flip it again. So something like this. That's gonna work out. Let's move this in front of the window. Like so. And then just make it a little bit bigger. Turn the intensity up. Set it to 9000 Kelvin. Like this. So now you can see this is a lot better. Let's turn it down a little bit. Like so. So this is a little bit brighter. This spot is also a bit too dark, in my opinion, and the shadow looks wrong. So let's try to correct that by adding an, another area light. Again, the same principle. Set the dimensions first. Flip it. 
turn this a bit like so set the shadows to on Let's make it colder so something like this okay so let's add some other details so this side of the chair it's too dark so again we can fix this by creating an area light a small one this time something like this so as you can see it brightens up the side of the chair a bit we can do this for all of the furniture so let's just open the map over here so this is some of the extra area lights i've added um, during this doing this process so a big one over here then we have one over here for this chair and this one and we also have a neon light that's this neon light over here it's the only neon light i've placed so okay once we've done this it looks all good it really looks a lot brighter than before let's finish up by adding some um, reflection probes you can find them in the tools and reflection probes and the reflection probe can be used to create a nice reflection in a tv so just drag it in front of the tv you can adjust the size accordingly and the brightness as well like so and then also one in front of the mirror which will create a nice reflection as well so now the only thing left to do is to place some shadow decals you can find them in the object folder decals and then go all the way down to the shadow decals Shadow decals are useful for adding a fake shadow underneath the furniture so it doesn't seem to be floating. So over here this should be darker so let's try to imitate that by adding a, a shadow decal. Let's move it underneath the chair, move it down like so. As you can see this now creates the effect that the chair is. Okay. So you can do this for all the furniture, so underneath the big chair, the other lounge chair, the table. You can even do this like here on the wall. Let's adjust the size a bit, like so, set the opacity down, because this side should be darker normally. You can also do this for the ceiling. I like to do it to create that a little bit more contrast in the scene so that's just a width like so and if you do the four corners it will look start to look a lot better so as well here on this side of the wall we can imitate the shadow by adding a shadow decal Let's move it down just a bit like so set the opacity down and then move it a bit further so now this is just quick quick if you put uh, some work into it like underneath the table if you put some work into it it will start to look a lot better like so okay so something like that so you can add as many shadow decals as you want as long as it still feels natural it's okay um, I would recommend even to add some shadow decals it is time consuming though so it's your own choice so let me just delete those and show you my folder with the decals so like this so underneath all the tables, the chairs, it's all done with, with shadow decals. And this creates that extra contrast. So now you should have a bright looking, nice interior scene. Okay, so that's it. With this technique you can create any interior render you want. Just make sure to use the right materials to add some nice area lights and fill the, the, the shadows up with some shadow decals. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button 
and turn on the bell to get notified when I post a new video.